Good morning to you, John. Yes, we all know it. Authorities have talked about uh, the hesitancy of people to come forward, the refusal even for them to assist with helping in giving tips and solving crime. So far, 210 murders in the city of St. Louis. 155 of those cases are still open. That's more than 70% of those murders unsolved. So the Justice for St. Louis Families Fund is going to set aside money to go towards rewards for tips that lead to the arrest and capture of anyone who has committed a murder in the city and for anyone who has murdered a child under the age of 17. Now that fund would offer $10,000 for tips for murders, $15,000 for child murder cases in particular. A total of $2 million would go out of the city's emergency reserves account fund and then go into the Justice for St. Louis Families Fund. Board of Aldermen President Lewis Reed says this will be another tool in their toolbox to fight crime. They know there are people out there who have information and the goal is to get justice for grieving families and break the cycle of violence in St. Louis. With a large shortage of police officers on the city streets, the homicide numbers topping the totals for the past four years. Board members hoping that these rewards give people incentive to break the code of silence. Now that bill needs two more votes before heading to the mayor's desk and they are expecting to have a final vote by November 6th. Reporting live from downtown St. Louis, I'm Blair Lede.